Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Murray from Carolina Functional Neurology Center, and with this video I'm answering the question, why do people with dysautonomia get eye floaters, which is a great question. Um, our brain gets blood flow from four arteries, two in the front of our neck called our carotid arteries, and two in the, post, in the back of the neck called our vertebral arteries. In the front of our neck, our first branch off of the carotid arteries is called our ophthalmic artery. This artery completely supplies the blood flow to our eyes. And for the vertebral artery, it helps to supply the posterior regions of our brain, including our occipital lobe, which is important for processing vision and other things. So when individuals with dysautonomia who have difficulty shunting blood accurately around the, to the head, to the brain, around the body, which can result in orthostatic issues, dizziness, stuff of that nature, but it can also result in visual changes and eye floaters because blood flow is not accurately getting back up to the brain and not properly supplying back to these two arteries, but specifically the ophthalmic artery to the eyeball. So that can result in eye floaters or visual changes.